the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 319, Acts 10 to 12. Cornelius, full of the Holy Spirit. Peter broke down his bias of chosen people only through meeting Cornelius and came to realize the fact that the gospel was the gift for all people. First point, Luke introduced Cornelius to Theophilus, who was a Roman centurion. In Luke's gospel, Luke introduced an honest centurion in Capernaum to Theophilus. In Acts, Luke once again introduced another centurion to Theophilus. A shocking thing was that a centurion of the Roman Empire called Cornelius lived a life of worship and prayer to God. Cornelius was a righteous man whose entire family believed in God. He helped many people and always prayed to God. As such, God showed him a vision. The day after God showed a vision to Cornelius, God also showed three visions to Peter. In the vision God showed Peter, he told him to eat foods that were forbidden in the law. Peter was to break God's law, as this was God's command. Peter had not yet realized that with the death of Jesus, a new covenant and law had been established. Whilst Peter was thinking about this vision, some men came to Peter who were sent by Cornelius. When Peter hesitated, the Holy Spirit came upon him to tell him to go with them. Second point, Peter met Cornelius and then realized the meaning of all nations. Peter arrived in the house of Cornelius. Cornelius stood before Peter and bowed down. This was a way of welcoming Peter with all his heart. Seen from the outside, it was unthinkable to see a centurion of a Roman Empire bowing down to one of their colonized people. When the two men met, they both spoke about their visions. The Jews at the time did not welcome Samaritans or foreigners into their community. However, Peter, who was a Jew, met with both Samaritans and foreigners as he realized that God does not judge a person by their appearance. Peter's realization was later recorded by St. Paul. Per Cornelius' request, Peter started to speak about Jesus. This started the spreading of the Gospels to all nations. This had already been predicted by Jesus. Before this, Peter also lived with a prejudice against the foreigners and Samaritans. However, he managed to break this and open the door for all nations to receive the Gospel. When Peter saw that the Holy Spirit came upon Cornelius' family, he baptized them in the name of Jesus. As such, through meeting Cornelius, Peter came to realize the mission of spreading the gospel to all nations. Third point, Peter reported to the Jerusalem church that the presence of the Holy Spirit came to Cornelius and his family. When news broke out that Peter met with Cornelius and baptized his family, the circumcised Jews started to rebuke Peter. Peter therefore explained himself to them. Peter calmly explained to the Jews and added the words that the angel said to Cornelius. After hearing Peter's explanation, the people accepted that the gospel was to spread to all nations. The Jerusalem church decided to obey God in helping all nations to repent and accepting Jesus' gospel. This later became part of the law in the Jerusalem assembly. Fourth point. The Jerusalem church sent Peter and John to spread the word in Samaria and then sent Barnabas to Antioch. After the incident with Cornelius, 
the Jerusalem church rejoiced and stayed close together despite the threats from the Sanhedrin assembly. They rejoiced even further when they heard the news that the gospel had spread to Antioch. With the Sanhedrin assembly's threat, this made the Christians spread out into various areas which began to accept the gospel. When they heard this news, they sent Barnabas to Antioch, as they had sent Peter and John to Samaria. Barnabas was a man from Cyprus and was a descendant of Levi. His real name was Joseph, but people called him Barnabas. He was the one who sold all of his possessions in order to financially support the Jerusalem church. He was also the uncle of Mark, who opened his attic for service to God. Barnabas was also the one who recommended Paul to the Jerusalem church. He connected the Jerusalem church and the Antioch church, and was also the man who joined Paul in his first missionary journey. He trained Mark and likely encouraged him to record Mark's gospel. Later on, Paul asked for Mark as he had become useful to his missionary. Fifth point, in order to win over the members of the Sanhedrin assembly, Herod Agrippa the first martyred John's brother James. With the martyr of Stephen, the church members had to scatter and after some time, Herod Agrippa the first killed James by the sword, which started the harsher persecution of Christians. Herod wished to gain support from the Jews and so started rebuking the Christians. He killed James and also locked Peter in prison. Peter was locked for the third time, the first two times being by the Sanhedrin assembly. Herod Agrippa I planned to hold the trial of Peter after Passover and to keep him in prison until then and by doing so satisfy the Jews. When James was martyred and Peter was locked in prison, the only thing the Jerusalem church could do was to pray. The night before Herod planned to hold Peter's trial, the Lord's angel came and set Peter free. With the help of the angel, Peter was able to come out. After this, Herod was put to death. At this point, Barnabas and Paul set out to Antioch. Due to the famine that struck, the Jerusalem church faced great difficulty and thus the Antioch church sent aid to Jerusalem. This became the job of Paul and Barnabas. Later on, Barnabas and Paul, along with Mark, returned again to Antioch. Antioch thereafter became the central hub for the spreading of the gospel. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today, as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide He's a cutting-edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.